I'm Michelle Connolly. I'm from Government Partnerships in Policy Planning and Investment Division. Well, Government Partnerships, um, as the name implies, uh, we do manage a, a number of strategic partnerships for TMR. So uh, that ranges from dealings with the Commonwealth. That, that's a less formal partnership, if you like, but then we've got very close workings with local government through the Roads and Transport Alliance, uh, the university sector through the Transport Academic Partnerships, or TAP, as most people know it, and um, also a stream of work around Indigenous partnerships, particularly the work with um, Warabinda through the Government Champion Program. Well, the Government Champion Program, it's a DATSIP-run program, so they've actually been mogged, but they were the Department of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Partnerships. Uh, it's a program, it's, it's had a long life, but the latest iteration of the program started in 2014, and that's when our Director General was assigned to the Warabinda community, and I've supported him in that role ever since. The program itself is designed to um, break down barriers to service delivery that all Indigenous communities um, are subject to, as well as um, provide them with a voice in government. So our Director General will come back, liaise with his cohort and just get things moving that the community need rather than go through the red tape and bureaucracy. Well, I um, directly support the Director General. So um, we have, we are required to be out in the community four times a year. That's one of the DATSIP um, performance measures. Uh, but generally speaking, I do all the administrative side of things as well as uh, liaison points across other departments. So obviously not everything gets done at Director General level. So all the, the sort of, I guess, the grunt work that has to be done across departments there's a network of government champion support officers, so we all work together to uh, get whatever needs to be done for individual communities as well as Warabinda. It's just a good way to work in partnership. Um, it's, it's sort of, I mean, having been assigned to a community would sort of imply that, yeah, we'll go out there and we'll say, well, this is what we need, but it, it's it's not like that at all. It's um, it's our invitation comes from the community and the work that is required is what they tell us, not sort of the other way around. And we're just getting better results working that way, as you do in all partnerships. You know, there's a recognition of each other's strengths um, and, and making sure that, you know, if they, for anyone dealing with government bureaucracy, it's, it's quite painful. So to eliminate that for a community or a body of people is, is a really good thing to be able to do. And then the benefits that flow into the community are, are really great as well. So obviously being there since 2014, we've seen a lot of tangible outcomes in terms of the infrastructure that's been developed and that has worked really well as a transport and infrastructure agency. It's also providing that long-term sustainable employment, economic development opportunities, um, all of those things that just come from having a job and having a sustainable industry. So we've been able to work with the community to do that as well. You know, we're very lucky to have our Director General who's very focused on advancing these opportunities. Um, so I think, you know, we'll probably go from strength to strength to be perfectly honest, but It'd be great to get to a place where targets are important right now because they're, um, as the DG says, they're giving communities a hand up um, rather than the handout. So it's, it's great to get people employed and give them jobs and opportunities. But the day needs to come where it's just natural. It's just how we do business. And regardless of who people are, people are employed on merit and they do a great job. And that's what you hear from the community as well. They don't want to be sort of treated as um, the poor cousin, if you like, and given these opportunities just because of who they are, they, need, they want to be competitive and they want to have, um, they want to determine themselves for themselves. Yeah.